All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, we've got Abandon, we've got that, we've got Roxy, and we've got... Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to think of how to lay this party out. Maybe Bounty Hunters, it'd be kind of interesting to have a couple of, hmm. Concerned by this party layout. You know what? Let's go get that Vestal. I'm not entirely, no. I don't really want the Vestal. What does the Highwaymen have? Anything good? Uh, no. No, these aren't particularly useful. Uh, the Death Blow Resist is pretty good though. We'll see, but I, I think what we're going to want to do is just bring in a pair of Hellions and hope for the best. So in that case, let's get over here. Where's Roxy? Can I upgrade her skills at all? The answer is yes. So we got to... I'm going to be very poor. I'll deal with equipment after this run, I think. Shoot. This is rough business. Okay. So back to Embark. We've got Abandon. Who I did upgrade Weird Reconstruction at the very least, correct? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to bring Roxy. And then... Pivicini? I don't freaking know. And then Ra. And we'll just do all sorts of... All sorts of that. Toxin Trickery. Yeah, I would, I would get rid of Toxin Trickery. The problem is we're running very low on money. Actually, yeah, we'll do it. In favor of Poison Dart. Okay. Man, we are almost out of... We are almost out of cash. But Poison Dart's gonna be pretty good. So, there we go. Oh, man, this is gonna be a rough run. But, you know what? Maybe with the couple of Hellions, we'll be in a good position. Crossing my fingers on that one. I have no idea. Either way, my one concern is Abandon is kind of uh, running it rough as far as sanity goes, but oh well, I'll deal with it. So we've got Roxy, we've got Pissvinny, Pickvinny, Pickvinny? I guess it's Pickvinny, and we'll go from there. And if anybody wants me to rename uh, the Hellion after them, speak up now or forever hold your whatever. Okay, so we're not doing a particularly dangerous mission here. And I think I would rather do... Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do just this basic one. Okay. And we've got camping. Now, I'm not... This is not going to be a suicide mission. But we're gonna run out of all of our cash. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we can, we can get some more cash as we go along the way. Okay. Well, after the last one, things can't get any worse, right? Right. The problem is that I'm running into... Okay, we did... Nope, shoot, we didn't get that right. Uh, the problem we were running into is all of our, like, good characters are too high of a level or too low of a level. Perfect. And, of course, that's always a concern. So, I don't need all that food, but it is a very nice benefit, considering how poorly we've been doing lately. Oh, no. Crazed. You're already losing your mind. Compulsive. Nuts. Well, this is going to be uh, exciting. At least we get to go camping, so we have that going for us. But... Things are already going poorly. Things are already going poorly. Alright, so she can't use her normal moves. I guess let's do flashing daggers, take them out as much as possible. Close enough. I, I guess I was planning on having her being a, uh, a two-point two person anyway. Uh, a point-two person. Freaking no. Hey! Is that... Thank you? 
Uh, I'm totally okay with that that movement right there. All right, so we're gonna. I can wait on weird reconstruction. Let's see if we can kill these two. And this is why I brought the two Hellions. Double breakthrough. You're gonna do wonders for clearing out groups of enemies. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. I'm so glad that uh, Tentacle Lady brought Craze back into. I'm not gonna say the fold, but still. All right. Uh. Nah, don't even need a poison dart. Just to throw a dagger. Okay. Grave Robber suddenly actually seems fairly decent. Oh, it's because her crit is pretty freaking high. All right. I like it how the uh, the narrator is actually like running at a bit of a time lag in, com in comparison to what we're doing here. All right, so... That really... That, that heal, while potentially useful, really needs you to be injured to be used. Oh well, that's not the end of the world. Okay, so we've got the Holy Fountain. They can be beaten. So I'm gonna have Packs laden with loot Divine Benefit. Are often low on there we go. Now you're just gonna explore that one for me? I guess so. Well, oh, I have to explore 90% of the rooms anyway. Oh, and it's getting dark. Torches! Torches. Okay, who's got good trap? So Roxy's got 30. Chris has got... Oh, okay. Grave Robber. Looks to be... Uh, Rao. Rao? Blech. Ancient traps. Is our trap person. Alright, and failed anyway. Yeah, no, I would love to get some crit items on uh, on the Hellions. They make things really fun. Unfortunately, no such luck. Currently. Okay. We've got some really nice AoE here. I gotta... Gotta say. Wow, that was... That was a lot of stress with one cup. Tempting Goblet is not a fun fun ability to go up against. Oh well. Again, that's what camping is for. Hopefully. And or the fact that hopefully we'll just kind of murder our way through these guys pretty fast. But that was like 24 stress in one strike. That's not pleasant. We just de-stressed her. Him, whatever. The problem is the, char the characters are named after viewers, and the viewers may not be may, or, may not correspond with the gender being shown there. But you know what? Whatever. Who cares? How much? Oh, deuces! She can't do anything from this angle, can she? All right. Well, let's uh, let's switch with him. Won't stress anybody out, and he can stab the fuck out of this guy. All right. There we go. And de-stresses him a little Remind bit. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow Perfect. and insidious killer. And you're the one. That's farthest from losing their mind. We get stuff. Alright. Okay. Please don't be compulsive. Man, you really like reading those books. Note to self. Fix that before we go th uh, go through another dungeon. Curious is the trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Oh, well. I guess back we go. Let's see if that trap hits us. It probably will along the way, but that's okay. Okay, so, book's already been read. Crazed can't get any more insane. Uh, people are already stressing out. I just, just remembered, it's actually faster for me to, uh... It's actually faster me, for me to use A and D for traversing the dungeon. I'm just always kind of lazy, lazy about it, but yeah. Crazed, you are very adequately named for this run. Unfortunately, I have, like, zero de-stress type moves. Very few de-stress type people, either. Oh, well. I'll figure it out as to go along, I guess. Oh, that's frustrating. And, of course, they're all focus firing crazed. It's like they know that crazed's uh, sanity has taken a hit here. That's a f yeah, you know what? Good candidate for weird reconstruction. Absolutely so. At least the maggots have, like, nil for hit points. So we got that going for us. That's a, a very interesting spell. I kind of wish you could raise the, like, base healing that... Well, that was meaningless. Oh, but they resist the bleed. Okay, that makes sense. That's cool. Okay, and she is, that stun is no longer a problem. 
are we... <laughs> he, he stops us to say March Friends. Thanks. Alright. Well, either way, don't think I can use that fountain again. At least this dungeon is going to be pretty easy to traverse. We're just going to loop down and around and continue on. Uh, I'm going to try and camp at the halfway point. I think that's the smart thing to do. So... Yeah, we'll just loop down around and probably camp right at the middle. See if I can get it at the intersection. No, we're going to have to camp in this room. At least Captain Compulsion didn't want to mess with this. Let's actually not use... Take it to burn. Uh, blighted. Yeah, now's not going to be a bad time to camp. I would camp in the middle, but I... Craze is about to lose, lose their mind. We, we need to, uh... A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. We need to de-stress for a bit. Okay, so... She's got Reject the Gods, which will actually reduce... Oh, hey. Ooh. So Revel would be very good for de-stressing her, but it's not great. Encourage. Gallows Humor. Ugh. Unfortunately, none of our none of our people have particularly good de-stress type moves. All right, gallows humor worked out, perfect. Okay, in that case, let's pep talk her. Uh, does somebody else have pep talk? He has pep talk. Shoot, should have pep talked the other one. Oh well, not the end of the world. Uh, so revel's a bad idea. I'll at some point I'll look into getting everybody like good camping type skills, but that's not useful either. All right, reduce torchlight. Nope. Can he pep talk himself? Balls. All right, how much does that take? Two. Okay. Well, I guess we'll equal it out a little bit. Could have gone better, but could have gone worse, too. Alright, let's rest, and hope for the best. And I will I will absolutely look into trying to get some better de-stress abilities as we go along. Oh, but you know what? Okay, that sucks a bit. Why don't these... Oh, hey, they... That's not bad. Unfortunately, it's dark. That bit sucks a bit. Looks like we're going to need some weird reconstruction. Either way, let's get it light again. And beat and the tar out of everything. Alright. At least... Yeah. At least he's not super stressed. And we're clearing we're clearing them out really fast. Like, we've got great AoE. I'm really enjoying that thus far. How much did you heal? He... Oh, he didn't heal any. He just caused himself to bleed. Alright. Wow. Huh. I guess how much health does he have left? A fair amount. I was trying to decide if the blight was worth it, and considering how fast we seem to be chewing through everybody, this seems like a good idea. Alright, weird actually heal yourself this time. That's well, at least the bleed doesn't hurt that much. Okay. And then the light goes back to being normal. So. So I think you need... You need holy water on that. And I don't have any. Okay. And that's blighted, so we don't want to deal with that. Alright, off we go. And hope for the best. We're, yeah, man, I wish I had all of those. I really wish I had all of those uh, holy waters. Because, man, we'd be able to use all of these. For the slightest lapse Damn it. Concentration. We'd be able to use all of these confession booths. At the very least, we're uh, we're kicking some serious ass as far as like taking these guys down. So we got that going for us. But uh, we're going to need some weird reconstruction here. You can heal yourself at all? Nope. Healed nothing. Bled nothing. 
All right. With impunity. Rolled a lot of zeros here, and I'm not super keen on it. See, th this is why I like Vestals, because they're reliable. Yeah, oh wow, that is that is a substantial heal, admittedly. But at the same time, kind of frustrating. And just switch with him. Works out. A trifling We're doing okay. But a and keep going. Less. Right, that wasn't even... That wasn't even it. Or... That wasn't even... The, uh... Wow, yeah, we might run out of torches here. Didn't somebody tell me I didn't need this? Oh, no, didn't need this much. Okay. Whew. Count my blessings here. Flashing daggers, that's not a bad one. Uh, someday I would love to do a run of Darkest Dungeon where no torches, no dealing with sanity. I'd have to figure out how to scale the difficulty or something. But it would be a really interesting game. I'd probably need friends to, like, talk to for the entirety of it, because I think otherwise I'd lose my mind. Uh, just being frustrated at the game. But I think it would be really fun to actually play through the game where stress is just not something you even think about. You're just like, eh, whatever, who cares. Okay. Uh, probably a good time for a weird reconstruction on her. Uh, but yeah, it would be really cool to have, like, a true Darkest Dungeon. No torches. Uh, you'd, you'd probably have so much loot. But... Good job, but it'd be hard to keep your party under control. And of course, all the monsters would do way more damage as a result, too. Oh well, I will just deal with that. Let's switch them around. Because she could just break, break through from the back. Not great damage, but I think she can actually use an ability from second row. Watch that be completely false. Oh, great, she can shadow fit. Oh, wait. That's perfect. That worked out uh, about as well as I possibly could have thought, or hoped for. And that's a lot of cash. That's a lot of fat cash. What else do we get here? A little bit less on the cash side of things. Cash is what we need, and we're not getting a whole lot. Looks like we also get a trap up ahead. Roxy, what do you got for us? Eh, but it's the if we run across that thingamabob. Now, she's the trap lady, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and her sanity's looking nice, too. Okay. Well, I'm not terribly worried. I think we've got this under wraps, and like, honestly, I've proven at this point that you can get through a dungeon with, uh, crazy people. It's health that's a problem. Gotta give it to the occultist. He's... Oh, yeah. Check the chest if they're locked or not. Oh, sweet. This is the one with the medicinal herbs that you can use. Okay. We're going to use it on him. I think this doesn't de doesn't make him saner. It just gets us stuff. Okay. Well, glad we just got the medicinal herbs. Uh, wait. We're about to go into combat. Let's light the, let's light the area a bit. All right. Game in the system a little bit. Sort of. Not really. It's not like I really knew they were coming. I just knew that it was going to happen. Okay. God damn, do I love... Breakthrough. Wish it did more damage, but let's be honest here. If it did, that would make it really, really useful. Okay. So it looks like sanity is not going to be as much of an issue here. The team is actually kicking some ass. Which I am appreciative of. Okay, okay so. It looks like I can have him just continue healing for a little while. I, I think we're I think we're going to be able to clear this dungeon out no problem. I'm going to ignore the lower dungeon just so I don't waste my time here, and then everything else will just be. We probably only need to do three more. Whoa. When the hell did that happen? Okay, I wasn't even paying attention. I was like, oh, let's let's take a look at the map. The map looks all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was looking in the map, and he went from full health to no health. Oh, it was an 11 point crit. Oh, that's what I get for not paying attention. Alright, well. Do we have bandages? Nope, no bandages. That was a damn good heal, though. That absolutely balanced everything out, and makes me feel a lot better. I'm just. That business is scary. 
I guess that's what eating is for, too. This is why I bring so much food. Just because it's not... Uh, you can't heal when you're outside of combat. I get another key. Hmm. Hope we find some more chests along the way. Yeah, his we weird reconstruction is actually a much better slot than I... Uh, much better spell than I originally gave it credit for. So, as long as... Damn it, Craze. Have you not learned? Oh, hey. It just made it darker. There goes my last torch, guys. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we're going to want weird reconstruction on himself. That's not as much healing as I'd like. But that's probably fine. At least this is one of the easier ones. If this was like a much harder dungeon, we'd be in trouble. That said, I think this will I think this is going to end up totally okay. Yeah, no. The other thing is no, oh, that's gonna push her to the back. Ah, that could be worse. Um The benefit is A we've got uh Hellions which can attack from the front three. But I don't know. We're kinda lucking out on this one. Do I have anything that hits the first person? Oh, Shadow Fade does. And that'll actually switch her to the back. Perfect! Stuns him too. Alright, we need some weird reconstruction here. That is less weird reconstruction than I would like. Yeah, I'd, I'm almost tempted to do an occultist... Uh, occultist Vestal run at some point. That seems like that would be a really good situation. Apparently for the long dungeon, you want to bring 48 food with you. That's... butts. Alright, well, whatever. Let's just sit back and wait. This is... This is probably fine. Did it get stunned? Hmm. Man, I was up way too late last night streaming this game. It's addictive, though. Like... Every run, you're just like, all right, just one more. And then you look at the clock, and it's like, oh, shit. It's 5.30 in the morning. Well, that was almost not worth it. That, on the other hand, was seriously kick-ass. I think she just recovered 12 sanity as a result. Nice. All right, so we've got, at most, like, one piece of combat left. Please have torch. No, no torch. This is the last room we have to go into. Alright. And let's leave before things get, like, super stressful. Alright, how much cash did we make? I think we made a fair amount there. Eh, just shy of 10,000. Works for me. We did get a lot of busts, though. We need those. Overall, not the best haul, but it will uh, preserve us until the next run, which is a nice boost. Anyway. That is a lot of busts. Wow, I did not realize we got that many heirlooms. Alright, so, Hatred of Beast, that's a good one, Evasive, that's a really good one, and Fringophobia, ah, shoot, I need to get rid of that, that, Hard Noggin, alright, so, number of decent ones, but at the same time, that is, uh, I remember days when the sun shone, and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Oh. Wow, Intense apparently, uh, prayed away a thousand extra gold, but at the same time got rid of, uh, got rid of Paranoid. So, like, our people are getting saner, so we got that going for us. Alright, Dota Man no longer has to, uh, sleep with ladies. Let's have him meditate. Uh, Wally. We'll only also meditate. Shoot. Well, I guess Wally doesn't get to do shit for a while. Because I can't cancel the treatment without uh, screwing us up a little bit. Okay. I guess I could get rid of it so he can... Yeah, it's not the end of the world. Anyway. Uh, you had the one that we need to get rid of. Fringophobia. He's afraid of the Ferengi. That's pricey. See, it's the head doctoring stuff that always ends up being the most expensive. Everything else I can deal with. But this... Oh. Curious methodologies and apparatus. I've almost got it to 50%. I completely forgot to upgrade it as we went. Okay. So, uh, can I upgrade? No, I can't upgrade Roxy there, but what I can probably do 
Upgrade Rocky Roxy's gear. Yeah, that's worth it. Soliam upgraded? Yep. Okay, can I upgrade the blacksmith even further? Because I don't think I've unlocked tier, tier 2. Ah, here we go. Okay, let's go with armor. That'll have to do for the time being. Because that's one thing I realized we haven't done yet. We, uh... We haven't... Like, all of her level 3 people are running around with level 1 gear. That is bad. That is real bad. But, at this point, seem, things seem a little bit more doable. Um, let's see, because we have one, right? Where is... oh. We, we've got Intense, we've got Wednesday. What happened to our last... Vestal, did we... I thought our Vestal lived last night. Jerwolf. Where the hell's Jerwolf? We lost Jerwolf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What? Jerwolf. No, Jerwolf isn't dead. Jerwolf is just gone. So, Jerwolf isn't in the graveyard. Oh. Jerwolf? Yeah, but it said Jerwolf went on a quest. Has gone on a personal vision quest. Are they coming back? Is it is the vision quest like they'll come back? At, oh, okay, so they disappear from the roster. Okay. Well, that does put us in a bit of a pickle, though. Because uh, we're going to have to go on a, a run without any kind of healer. I guess it's probably doable. Or do we have any short ones? Ah. Ooh. Unfortunately, we need Jerwolf to do that. Oh, no. Well? What the heck do I do here? I, I guess I've gotten intense, but, like, Dodo Man's still losing his mind. Yeah, don't recruit anybody. All right, so, looks like I'm going to have to do some kind of suicide mission. It's probably gonna, going to involve this very short skirmish, which is not a bad idea. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a, a whole lot of level 3 people. We've got Dargona, we've got Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to leave Soliam as Soliam is, so we can use Soliam on a on a boss fight. I guess I could bring Roxy with, just because she's uh, fully upgraded. That'll get her to the level. All right, well, I will see you guys on the next episode of Darkest Dungeon. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, that's a loaded question. <laughs>